Welcome to another mini video from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Inkscape to animate the stickman created in an earlier video. Inkscape per se is not an animation software, but there are ways to create animation in Inkscape. I'm using the simple stickman, a circle, a rectangle for body and two lines for arms and legs and place him on a background. The background functions as my constraint and allows me to keep the frames consistent when exporting them later. I start by separating the limbs. I want each arm to be a separate line and each leg to be a separate line. Using the node tool I deleted the segments between the shoulders and the hips and then used the pass split pass to separate the legs into two lines and the arms into two separate lines. I color these just to make the animation easier to read. I give the head and the body as well as the arm and the leg that are in front a gray tone while the two limbs behind stay black. I adjust the base of the body. A rounder shape makes it easier to hide the legs going in. There won't be any sharp corners. Maybe I should have reversed that and start with the front leg being forward and the front arm being behind. I use the node tool and start adjusting the pose slightly. The red line I added to my rectangle functions as the ground. The leg should not go beyond that line. This will be my starting point. The animation will loop so the last frame needs to blend into this one. In order to make it easier to animate my stickman I'm using what's called onion skinning where you see through the layers. So one way to do it is change the opacity of the whole layer. You can do that in the layer panel. I change the opacity of the whole layer, background and character to 50% if I duplicate the layer now. and change the layer on top you can see what's underneath it quite clearly so it's easier to move things and see where the previous pose was alternatively and that works better for me is by just setting the transparency of my background i set the background with the red line to 50 percent and work on the layer on top. So if I duplicate my step two into a step three layer now and start changing the position, you can see that I can see layer one, layer two, layer three with varying degrees of grayscales. In animation, there are two general approaches. One is to animate from frame to frame. You just work your way from the beginning of the animation to the end of the animation. In this case, I'm using the other approach I work with keyframes. I'm doing rough poses first and then fill them in with the parts that are needed in between. At the moment, I'm trying to create a set of six frames for the basic positions that my running stickman is in. Each time I just use the node tool to adjust the position and the curve of my arms and legs. Now that I've reached the fourth step, it's a repetition of the first one. I can just duplicate a layer and modify that. Well, I could duplicate if I moved it properly. There we go. I moved that one and now I just reverse the colors. The black arms are now the gray ones and the gray ones turn into the black ones. And I got to move them below the body with the page down key. I do that for the other two layers to end up with six layers from step one to step six. To get an idea what my animation looks like, I'm going to export it at this stage. I select all the layers, just the tops of the layers, not every item in them because that would create different elements. I just select the layer and go to the export panel and the new batch export allows me to create all my frames in one go. I define the destination, click on export and it creates six PNG images for me. 
I put these in an easy GIF animator, an online tool, and the result looks like this. It's still a little rough. He is not looking overly dynamic, but that's something that can be changed. One thing that is missing is some body movement. If you're running as well as you're walking, it's a little less extreme there, your body and your head shifts up and down. So I'm gonna add that now, going into the frames and adding a few extra steps. These in-betweens will help make the animation more fluid. I am doubling my frames from 6 to 12. I am still doing the same thing, adjusting the positions, adjusting the curves of my lines. If you're not quite sure what the different poses should look like in the first place, please go online, check for reference images. There are a lot of articles on animation. Find one that breaks down an animation cycle into 6, 8, 12 or 24 frames, whatever you need and work with that. In this video, I won't be going into that much detail. This is more the technical part on how to create the animation, not exactly what the animation looks like. I reached step 12, which will loop back to step 1. So I've got all my layers in place. I select all of them and go back to the export, do the batch export. And this time the animation looks like this. It's still a little wobbly and could be adjusted, but for the purpose of this video, it is more than enough. I hope it gave you an idea how to create animations by onion skinning, adding and duplicating layers. The one thing that I still want to show you how to fix is the background. I mentioned in the beginning that it is important. It keeps my animation in place. Exporting the lines and circles without a background would shrink them to their size. With the backgrounds in place, and now I turned them all to transparent, so they are there, but they are no longer visible. The opacity is zero. They constrain the animation, so I get even sized frames for all my 12 frames. In this case, I missed one. I had to add that later. The animation now looks like this. It is a little pixely. That is due to the GIF file format. GIF has just one bit for alpha. So there is just a transparent or non-transparent, which makes this one look a little pixely. But he is running without a background and you have 12 frames that you can import into your program of choice. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had good fun playing with the stickman and working out an easy approach to create animation frames in Inkscape. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification icon, leave a like and let me know in the comments what you think about this video and what you'd like to see on this channel and I will see you again soon.